Hamilton, Ontario. And I just paid a visit to this chapel, Chapel to be Catholic. And all you have to do is just talk to one person. Tell them that you are here and that you don't want it to continue any more than molestation. They can talk about whatever they want to talk about. They can talk about Bible stories. They can talk about what they've learned, what they think they know, everything else. But the only thing necessary for evil to succeed, Edmund Burke was not a, uh, was not a, uh, I know that a lot of priests under this Pope Benedict and John the Second or whatever. Um, I am not a Catholic. I don't propose to be Catholic. In fact, my research about Catholicism is what made me leave uh, the United Church, which really isn't Catholic, but the United Church, the Anglican Church, and the Catholic Church. co-conspirators in, uh, conspirators in, uh, in the, uh, registration of children, the native children and such, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and about this legal fiction stuff, and when you register a name and become a legal fiction and then assume that you are that, right, using it as identification in any way, like, Splitting the Sky, his, uh, real name was Dakajuia, and they gave him a white man name. And his white na man name is John Boncor. So that's how he would get his social services as a native or whatever aboriginal, um, whatever the legislation permits, okay? Because it's all just legislation still, right? So Kevin Annette is uh, a very good close friend of mine, and we spent some time talking and and he's done a lot of traveling uh, with regards to research of the Catholic sect. I think because there's a lot, uh, there's a lot more uh, trans not transparency, the reverse of transparency. There's been too much cover up in the in the Catholic Church. And if you go right back to it, you know, the Catholic Church rewrote the Bible. So the Bible, they rewrote it in 325 with uh, Constantine, and he made a religion out of it, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, Martin Luther, awesome guy, retranslated, and maybe Bacon did too, and yes, Shakespeare lands in the 46th Psalm, uh, 46 words in, 46 words out. What does that mean? I don't know. Does it mean anything? I don't know. All I know is that there's all these people, man, that place was packed, and it's Saturday, it's, it's Sunday at... Five o'clock, I think? Four o'clock. Something like that. Anyway, it's, it's afternoons. And, and everybody's dressed like they're going to the beach. And everybody's going there. Why are they going there? They're going there to hobnob and stuff like that. And listen to a, a story, which you, which you can read yourself, and you'd probably interpret it better yourself. Actually, all the people that are in there are taking an hour out of their day to just uh, sit and think, take some time. That's called resting. That's when God is supposed to talk to you. If God is the name, there is no name. You can't use a name. You can't have a religion. You can't be bound to your beliefs and all those things because you are here separate from that so you can learn about it. It can't be named. We're never going to agree on it all. It's cool to get together in places like this, but all of a sudden everybody in here is guilty by association to whatever it is that the guy at the front talked about. It is a very huge earth that we live on, covered in green, lots of uh, beauty and all that sort of stuff. Um, there's a lot of heinous stuff that goes on in basements by dirty old men, and it needs to be stopped. And this kind of organization, it's the guilty by association, and in fact, not guilty by association.
Why is that? How did that work? Not guilty by association. Because you're a cardinal? You're free? They protect you? You have a society that's protecting you? Okay? And the papacy? is the reason why there's a monarchy. That's who gave them the freaking ability to be monarchy anywhere. It's always the church who gives a king an anointing. A lot of Bible stories talk about this stuff. And uh, I do suggest to read the King James Bible front to back. Learn what you can. And know the dinosaurs are dragons. And uh, Universal Studios, Wonderland, Canada's Wonderland in Toronto, man, they're just really pushing this whole dinosaurs thing. Man, and there's... You know, T-Rex, I heard, like, T-Rex, man, like, those teeth were for chewing bones and stuff. Because he was eating shit off the ground. He eat the things, like, all the dead stuff. Just walk around eating all the stuff that the... Whatever. You know, it didn't last a long time either, the T-Rex, you know? Probably very close to the end when everything was dying and stuff. Because it was so big, it lasted a lot longer. I don't know. Dragons, though. Most of the Anglican Church, you know, the, the symbols in the Anglican Church is that knight killing a dragon. Why? Ask yourself these things. Uh, Merry Christmas.